What's up, Gun Nuts? It's Ferrari Steve with RealGunReviews.com, and this is a red letter day. This is video 10 in my ongoing series of upgrading a West German SIG 226 to as close to Legion spec as we can get. Before we go any further, let's do a quick safety check on both of these pistols, visually and manually inspect, to make sure they are both clear, and they are. So like I said, this is video 10, the last one. And if you've been following the series, you'll know we started with a bone stock West German 226, and we updated the controls, we put the Grey Guns trigger, uh, the new Hogue G10 grips, uh, the SRT kit, the X-ray sights to get us, sorry, the, H, the Trigicon HD sights to get as close to the X-ray sights as we can, and went through nine steps that I could do on my own with my West German SIG to get it as close to Legion as possible. The last one is enhancing the action. And SIG advertises that this has an enhanced action. Now, exactly what that means, I don't know. I do know it's not done by hand in the custom shop. I know it's done somehow in production. But beyond that, they're not telling me what the Magic Elves do. <coughs> oh, excuse me. However, for $179, you can send any SIG off to um, SIG's custom shop and have the action enhancement package done. And that's exactly what I did. Now, before uh, I get going into kind of comparing these, both qualitatively and quantitatively. Uh, let me show you what I got back with the gun. So I got the uh, custom shop service order here and it came with a little bag of bits. So that's the first thing I looked at is the bag of bits. It has my four grip screws and I had already replaced these grip screws. So my grip screws were in great condition but they put new grip screws on the gun when it came back. So that's awesome. Um, there's my old hammer and I recognize it because it was pretty hammered. Wah, wah but they've obviously put a new hammer in there. And this is a sear spring. So they've upgraded or replaced the sear spring. I presume they've done a standard sear spring replacement, but they just saw that it was worn, or maybe that's part of what they do as part of the AEP. And that's that, so these bits came back. I also got a little letter, and it's got my RMA number, and it says the customer request was an AEP, an accident enhancement package. Um, they received it on April 4th. They completed it on April 12th, but well, that's, one day over a week. That is quick turnaround. So here's what they did. They test fired for function. Customer's gun has a lot. Hmm. Okay. We'll, we'll add a space there. Customer's gun has a lot of changes made to it from stock that was not performed by Sig Sauer. For example, Bruce Gray Legion trigger installed. Okay. Well, if you watched the series, you knew that. Legion style controls installed. Uh-huh. Yeah, we know. X-ray sights installed. Not really. I put the Trigicon HDs on there, but I did argue that they look pretty close to X-Ray, and it fooled a SIG gunsmith. Um, Chromium blah, 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 steel barrel polished to the point that the bluing was removed. We knew that as well. Metal is no longer protected. Okay, the previous owner did that. That doesn't bother me. I think it looks kind of cool. And I actually put a uh, solid guide rod in there to match that polished look, which is kind of cool. So the AEP service cost me $179.95. The freight repair, I paid the $55 extra for what they call their VIP shipping. And... Um, that basically means they send a call tag for FedEx and they pay to overnight it to them and then they pay to overnight it back to you. Without that, you have to pay it to get it to them and then they'll get it back to you. Um, I don't know if it'll be as quick. I don't know if paying that $55 got me that eight-day turnaround, but it was a quick turnaround, guys. All right, now for the good stuff. Let's just get a feel for it. Yeah, it's better. Just that. I feel that smoother. So I can't really quantify that but qualitatively feels very similar feels very similar but this feels better than it used to and i'm very familiar with this gun it was my edc for a long time before um this legion and so i'm very familiar with how this gun used to feel before it went to the action enhancement package um you know let's let's do some trigger pulls now again trigger pulls will only tell you something quantitative that we can measure qualitative um, we don't know, but if you remember video number one when it was stock before we changed anything I did a double action and single action pull and the double action was heavier than my Lyman gauge will read meaning it was over 13 um, It'll read you know 12 pounds and some ounces But once it hits 13 it says over and we were hitting over every single time on the double action the single action We were about four pounds five ounces if I'm remembering right once we got to video number eight, where I replaced the mainspring and the uh, mainspring assembly, the, you know, the mainspring main strut uh, along with that, 
I was able to get the double action shot down to 11 pounds, was 11 pounds, two ounces, 11 pounds, six ounces. But again, it was in the 11 pound range. So I was able to make an improvement just by replacing the mainspring. And that was after doing the trigger and the SRT kit. And none of those should really affect the, the pull weight that much. But I'm really curious to see what our pull weights are going to be now on the double action and single action shot. So let's, let's see. Oh, kids, that's seven pounds, 15 ounces. If I'm not mistaken, my Legion does not do that. Let's try again. Right at eight pounds, right on, on the nose at eight pounds. So we've got a eight pound or sub eight pound trigger on that double action shot. That's a vast improvement. When I sent it to him, it was over 11 pounds and it comes back at eight or under. That's big. Let's try the Legion. 10 pounds, 5.5 ounces. Put it in the same spot. 10 pounds, 7 ounces. So guess what? The modifications we made plus the action enhancement package makes this trigger lighter than the Legion. Does it make it better? Well, we're gonna have to talk about the qualitative elements, but at least quantitatively, yeah. Let's do the single action shot. Three pounds, 14.6 ounces. Three pounds, 11 ounces. Now let's try the Legion. Five pounds, 0 0.5 ounces. Four pounds, eight ounces. So again, lighter on the single action pull with the enhanced, we'll call this the enhanced 226 West German. Oh man. Now let's do some let's do some qualitative analysis, shall we? Let's uh, let's check the reset. Well, we know what the Legion reset looks like, right? So we'll do, take the double action shot, rack the slide because the reset is just ridiculous on the Legion. Ready? Yep, ridiculous. Is it going to be as ridiculous on the West German? Ooh, we're creating some tension. Not spring tension. Oh, well, I'm already seeing that freaking smooth. <laughs> Let's reset it. Um, yeah, just as, ri ooh, so ridiculous, I wanna do it again. Oh yeah, yeah, um, so ridiculous, one might call it redonkulous. One might go one step further and call it dickronculous. I, I don't know, but it's really awesome compared to the Legion, it's dead on. And it's way better than it used to be. Go back and watch my SRT kit install video. Uh, we did make the reset pretty cool, that's as good as it gets. That is legion level right there, um, hands down. Now let's talk about how it feels. So I'm pretty familiar with how the, and this is what I've been shooting the most lately at the range. So I'm doing it one-handed, but I'll try to get a feel for it. So smooth um, on the creep. And again, there is creep in a double action. I mean, a double action is all creep. There is a little, you know, little bit of stacking and it, and it, increases when I get close to the wall or close to the break. I mean, the wall's right there. I'm going to break. Yeah, I mean, it's still great. It's a great trigger. I love my Legion trigger. Let's see how it feels. We know it's going to be lighter, but I want to see smoothness and how it just qualitatively feels. Um, yeah, it's better. Now, I don't know if the people at SIG would be upset to think that it's better. I mean, the enhancer package on the Legion is not done by the custom shop. So the guys at the custom shop, if they watch this video, they're probably going to be pretty happy that I think that the custom shop enhancer package is better than the Legion. You might argue that it should be because I believe this is done mechanically, the action enhancement, and this was done by hand by a hopefully experienced SIG gunsmith. But that's better. Let's try the single action shot. Not as much to work with, right, as far as feedback goes. So it feels very similar. All I'm feeling is the weight difference. So qualitatively on the single action, I don't feel much difference between the two. Qualitatively on the double action pull, the West German enhanced, it's superior. Uh, there's just no bones about it. I mean, you maybe you don't think I know what the heck I'm talking about, and that's fine, you don't have to. I think I do. I think I'm really familiar with both these guns. 
and I'm telling you, it's better. Is that worth $179 to you? Maybe. Is it worth double that to send it to someone like Bruce, Gar Bruce Gray? Probably. I hear his work is awesome, and I'm going to send at least one of my guns to him. But again, before you put in the videos, you should have sent it to XYZ. Part of this experiment was using SIG-only parts and the SIG-only enhancement package. Can we get close to Legion? And on the action side, guys, we just beat the Legion. It's better. This is a better action than the Legion. Does that make it a better gun? I don't know. Does the undercut mean anything to you? The checkering, the caulking serrations, all the things that you can't do on here. And if you look at my Real Gun Reviews video, excuse me, Real Gun Reviews article uh, about this series, there's a section of that, that talks about what you can't do on a West German. You can't put the rail. Some might say that's a good thing. I like the non-rail look. But as far as action goes, we beat the Legion. Well, SIG beat the Legion. I beat the Legion. Well, I came equal to the Legion with everything, and then SIG beat their own gun with their own action enhancement package. So I can't take really any credit for it. I just put all the bits on that they complained about, and then they did the magic. And it really is, that is a magic double action. Now, this is a well-used gun, and so it's well-worn in, and that helps the action be better. They put a new hammer on there, but I'm telling you, guys, that is a sweet double action trigger. Awesome. Sorry, I'm getting a little uh, jacked up here. But it's because it's bleeping awesome. That wasn't real bleep, I did it with my voice. So I thought I'd do some YouTube magic. I'm impressed, I really am. I'm curious to see what's inside here. So if really all you cared about was those things, you can shut it off. But let's, uh, let's take a little peek, at least on this side. I'm curious to see how it looks inside. Because one thing I did notice is it's really wet. And SIGs should run wet. Oh, I was curious to see these grip screws too. And I have not done this off camera. Maybe that's not a good, maybe that's not a good thing. Watch I scratch up my grips on camera. Okay, they put some Loctite red. So I'll put some Loctite back on them when I put these on for real. But I'm just curious to see on this side. Yep, looks like they lubed it up real nice. It's got the, uh, you know, that same trigger bar spring that I put in. And I would have expected to see it return, but I do see some polishing on there, so that is the safety uh, the safety lever that I put in as part of the SRT kit, and I do see some polishing, and I see some polishing here on the trigger bar as well. Um, I can't see if the sear has been polished, but I imagine it has. I, I imagine that's where you're getting part of, uh, or the majority of, that smoothness on the double action pull and such a crisp break. So it, uh, you know, it looks pretty good. Let's... We'll take it apart and see if there's anything else we can see. Looks like they polished here. That looks more freshly polished than I remember. Um, let's look at the barrel. And yeah, they polished this feeder. Boy, that is slick. Now, who knows? Is polishing a feed ramp worth it? I don't know. I don't know if they did anything here. Maybe. I can't tell. That was actually always smooth to begin with. Um, you know, polishing feed ramp, to be honest, I sometimes think that's just kind of something they can do and say, oh yeah, we polished the feed ramp. I don't know if it really makes that much difference, but that's in the new sear spring in there. There's that new hammer and they probably polished. I'd be surprised if they didn't polish that hammer surface. Maybe I'll do a different video where I really take this apart. Maybe I'll do a video just dedicated to the action enhancement package um, and pull this apart and see what we got. Maybe I'll mess up what they did. No, I doubt it. Let's put everything back together, though. There we go, guys. I won't put the grips on, bore you with it. But head-to-head, uh, -head, West German P226 to a Legion. Once we've done 10 steps of modifications, nine of which you can do on your own, and the other one you can send to SIG or to any other um, SIG custom gunsmith you want to try and get that action smoother, you can do it. You can make a West German 226 better than a Legion, at least on the action, and you can make it just as good as a Legion on some of the controls. And you can't make it the same as a Legion on the frame, or these front cocking serrations, or the beaver tail, but if those aren't important to you, the action enhancement package and the SRT kit and the Grey Guns trigger, if I were gonna spend money on a West German, maybe that's where I'd spend it. Of course, there's nothing wrong with the West German out of the box either. If you like it, 
go with it. If it's not an upgrade for you, don't do it. But for me, it is. This is a shooter for me. This is an everyday carry for me. And this was my everyday carry. And it probably still we still will be sometimes. But I got to tell you, that trigger is sweet. And I know I'm going to be spending a lot of time at the range and a lot of money on ammo because this just feels awesome. There we go, guys. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching the whole series. I've really enjoyed doing it. I hope it's been helpful. I hope I've given you some confidence to go ahead and upgrade some things yourself. Um, don't do it if you're not comfortable. You can mess up your gun, and you can hurt yourself and hurt your gun if you screw things up. But if you're semi-mechanical and you're willing to go slow and be patient and ask in the comments here for help, maybe you can uh, get similar results. And if you don't feel like doing that, send it off to SIG and ask them to put this stuff on there and do the action enhancement package. Uh, they'll warranty it if they do it. This is Ferrari Steve. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe if you like what you see. Get out there, practice, have fun. Make sure the first time you have to pull that trigger, it's not the first time you have pulled that trigger. Steve is Potch and Parabellum. Stay safe out there.